The Indian government will announce the special purpose vehicle by end of 2022 to implement the AMCA 5.5 generation fighter jet program that will involve Hindustan Aeronautics DRDO and several private sector companies. The first two AMCA technology demonstrators will be built by Hindustan Aeronautics while the remaining units will be built by the special purpose vehicle. The DRDO has fast-tracked the development of the liquid fuel ramjet engine, and has now started its ground testing, and it will be ready for flight trials in 2023. The liquid fuel ramjet engine will be used to power the Mach 2.4 capable star supersonic target missile, that will serve as a supersonic target for Indian Navy fleet training, as well as research in ship defense systems. The Indian Army is looking to procure 702 autonomous combat vehicles that will be built by the Indian industry with at least 50% indigenous content, under Make 2 category with 90% government funding. 351 autonomous combat vehicles will be for combat missions and silent real-time day and night surveillance that can transfer real-time image and video to ground control station in secure mode at up to 10 km while the remaining 351 units will be for logistics role, and must be able to carry up to 1000 kg load, in deserts plains and high altitude mountain terrain. It must have a speed of 20 km per hour, a ground clearance of at least 300 mm, and an amphibious capability at an depth of at least 500 mm. It must have an endurance of 4 hours in battery mode, and 12 hours in hybrid mode. The Ministry of Defence has signed an 887 crore rupees deal with Larsen and Tubro for the acquisition of two multi-purpose vessels for the Indian Navy and delivery of the vessels will start from May 2025 and will perform multi-role support functions such as maritime surveillance and patrol, launching and recovery of torpedoes, operation of various types of aerial surface and underwater targets for gunnery and anti-submarine warfare exercises, and a trial platform for naval weapons and sensors under development. Private sector firm Zen Technologies has received a project sanction order from the Indian Army for the design and the development of a prototype of the integrated air defense combat simulator that will facilitate training to gunners at unit level. The prototype has to be ready for the user trial readiness review within the next 30 weeks, and after the trials, an order for 16 units will be issued by the Indian Army. Hindustan Aeronautics is set to begin operations from the newly constructed helicopter plant at the Tumkoro district for the light utility helicopters, and will roll out the first four limited series production light utility helicopters by March 2023, and another eight units by March 2024. Hal Chief has said that the company will be able to manufacture 30 light utility helicopters per year from 2024, and if the combined order exceeds 300 units, it is willing to scale the production line to deliver 60 units per year from 2027. The upcoming GSAT-7B satellite of the Indian Army will majorly benefit the unmanned aerial vehicles operated by the Indian Army and will ensure that they have an enhanced flying range in line with their original specifications. At present, the flying range of the UAVs is restricted, since they are controlled by a ground station, which is usually at the line of sight. US firm Pratt & Whitney has announced its plans to open a world-class global supply chain support center in Bengaluru, and has began recruiting for its first batch of 160 aerospace analysts and data scientists, and is expected to begin operations by April, and this Indian center will be playing a crucial role in creating an advanced and integrated global supply chain for Pratt & Whitney. Indian firm Motherson has won an order from Boeing to manufacture and supply aftermarket molded polymer parts for commercial aircraft interiors. 
The order will commence from third quarter of 2023 and will be produced in a Madison production facility situated in Noida. The Chinese foreign minister has pitched for closer India-China ties, and Prime Minister Modi's participation in the BRICS summit hosted by China later this year, but NSA Ajit Doval has made it clear that China needs to complete disengagement on line of actual control to allow the bilateral relationship to take its natural course. Meanwhile, Indian Army has conducted airborne exercises to test capabilities near the Siliguri Corridor and has validated aerial insertion and rapid response, that includes airlifting of 600 airborne troops, large-scale drops, rapid regrouping, surveillance of critical targets and capture of objectives. Oh, my God.